So today I'm talking about a P00C8 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P00C8 code? Well, it's a fuel pressure regulator solenoid supply voltage control circuit open. And so what does this mean? Well, basically many modern vehicles these days, they have two fuel pumps. They're going to have a low pressure fuel pump inside the gas tank and then bolted up on the engine is going to be a high pressure fuel pump that's pumping up high fuel pressure up to the fuel rail, which then is going to go to the ejectors. But when you get this P00C8 code, the computer's seeing a problem with the fuel pressure regulator inside of this system. So it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And so the basics of what's going on inside these high pressure fuel systems is that there's going to be a low pressure fuel pump inside the gas tank and then bolted to the engine is going to be what's called a high pressure fuel pump. This high pressure fuel pump is right on a cam lobe. The cam lobe is going to be what's pumping up that high pressure fuel that's going to the fuel rail and located on the high pressure fuel pump is going to be a solenoid that is usually this fuel pressure regulator. This solenoid can go by different names. It can be called like a high pressure fuel pump actuator, a metering unit, a control solenoid, a flow control valve, a flow rate control solenoid valve. It could have many different names depending on the manufacturer and things like this. But basically there's a solenoid usually located right on the high pressure fuel pump that's going to be this fuel pressure regulator. It's always a good idea to get a diagram for the specific vehicle being worked on. That way you know for sure what's going on. But basically usually these fuel pressure regulator solenoids are going to be located directly on the high pressure fuel pump. And so what would be some possible causes of a P00C8 code? Well, the most common things that's going to cause this problem is either that fuel pressure regulator solenoid has gone bad and needs to be replaced or the wiring going to it. So there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. You can't go test the wiring and check to see if it's good, or you could go test the solenoid and check to see if it's good. And if it's good, then you know there's some kind of problem inside the wiring. If you have a multimeter, you can go and test that solenoid and check to see if it's good. And basically to do this, you set your meter to ohms and you measure the resistance at that solenoid. You look up what the rated ohms are for that specific solenoid, since there is differences between solenoids, and you check to see if it matches that. So for example, say that it's rated to be at 50 ohms, but you go and check it and it's saying like 55 or something like that, then you know that it's having some kind of problems, that it's having some kind of issue. But if you check it and it says 50 ohms, and that's what it's rated to be at, then you know it's good and you can move on and you can start checking the wiring or something like that. So the first thing I would do is I go test that solenoid and be sure that it's good. You can also get wiring schematics for the particular vehicle and go and check for any kind of open, short, any kind of bad connections or anything like this. Because if there's any kind of problems inside the wiring, then that's going to cause problems. It's also a good idea to go check for any blown fuses, possibly any kind of bad relay or anything like that. Again, if you have schematics, that'll tell you which fuse it's on and if there is a relay. But it is a good idea to go check for any blown fuses and be sure they're all good. Because the most common thing that's going to cause this is either that high pressure fuel pump solenoid, the fuel pressure regulator solenoid, that it's gone bad and needs to be replaced, or the wiring going to it. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P00C8 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.